Hello and welcome to another Simply Outrageous Math lesson. Today we're going to be squaring numbers in the 50s. So the first example we're going to use today is we're going to square the number 54. So 54 squared. And we're going to figure out that answer today. The first step into figuring this answer out is to add, always add 25 to our units digit. So 25 plus 4 equals 29. So 29 will be the first part of our answer here. So we'll go ahead and write that up here. The second part of our answer, we're going to take the units digit and we're going to square it. So 4 squared really equals 4 times 4 and that equals 16. So that's going to be the second part of our answer. So in this case, the answer is 2,916. Let's try another example just to make sure that you have got it. In this example, we're going to square the number 57. So 57 squared. All right, as you remember, the first part of the answer we're going to get by taking the number 25, adding it to our units digit, which is 7. So 25 plus 7 equals 32. Once again, that's going to be the first part of our answer, which is 32. And to get the second part of our answer, we're actually going to square the units digit, which is 7. So 7 squared really equals 7 times 7 and that answer is 49 and we would actually bring it up so that's the second part of our answer and we get 3,249. Just to make sure you have it we're going to do one more and in this case we're going to do 58 squared. Alright, so what do we do first? That's right, 25 plus our units digit, which in this case is 8. 25 plus 8 is 33. That will be the first part of our answer. The second part of our answer, we're going to square the units digit, which is 8 squared equals 8 times 8 and that's 64 so we'll bring that up here and the second part of our answer is 64 so our total answer for today is 3,364 so today you've learned how to square numbers in the 50s and hope you've enjoyed this simply outrageous lesson in math, squaring numbers in the 50s.